Hi, hello, vanakkam and welcome back to yet another episode on your favorite Little Sla YouTube channel. So today in this video, we are going to see about what is a workflow dispatch and how effectively we can use that and what are the advantages of using the workflow dispatch. So before we move on to this video, this is me, Arthan Shanmugam. I welcome you all to our Little Sla YouTube channel. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do like the channel like the video and share the video with your friends who are expecting some trainings on uh, GitHub. And in case if you want any trainings, please do reach out to me at my Gmail ID or you can even uh, connect uh, to our WhatsApp channel where you can find hundreds of performance testers, engineers, where they can help you in any of your queries. And even you can help others in case if you are aware of any queries. So in this video, like I told you, this is GitHub and we're going to see how to use the workflow dispatch using the uh, using one of the workflow and uh, so before we see how to use or how to implement the workflow let's see what are all the features or why do we need to use the workflow dispatch so the first part is it enables you to run the workflow on demand which is especially helpful for tasks that need to run automatically on every push or pull request for instance you might want to run a deployment or a special test suite manually so for example let me i can even show you an example so here i have one of my scheduled github workflow that runs daily at midnight so it runs only at daily at midnight i don't have any options to run it manually say so i what x for example if i'm just making any changes and i want to test it i have to wait for another day to see how does it work but if i have an option to run it immediately using manual options it will be very helpful for me to see how does it work right so that's the reason i'm going to add this workflow dispatch and again in terms of control so you can have more control over when a workflow runs because this is useful for workflows that perform time consuming tasks or require any specific conditions that are not covered by automatic triggers and there's another thing like for example you can not only uh, the main branch code you can even take your code from any feature branches for example if you have your code in any of the feature branch and if you want to run it yes you can do it i mean again i'll show you how to do that and then in terms of inputs so the workflow dispatch allows you to specify inputs when triggering the workflow yes you can even give the inputs you can even give some inputs for the workflow so that that value will be taken into it and it will run the uh, workflow and this means you can customize the execution of your workflow by providing different parameters or values each time you manually run it and in terms of debugging so if you need to test or debug specific parts of your workflow you can run it manually with pertin with particular configurations or data so let me go back to the code, to the GitHub workflows. And this is the script which I'm going to add the workflow dispatch for. So for that, let me open the code. Uh, I'm going to open this. OK, I already have it. So this is the code which we're going to do, which we're going to add the workflow dispatch for, uh, for this code. And we'll see how it works. So now I'm going to add the workflow dispatch for this one. So again, uh, this YAML file uh, for this for any of the YAML files, the uh, indentation is very important. So I'm going to move it to schedule. So yeah, schedule. So this has to come straight to the schedule. So workflow dispatch colon and then the inputs. So what are the inputs I'm going to give? So I, as I told you, uh, beginning in, in the beginning. So if we, if I want to give any uh, inputs, I can even give it. So the branch name. Sorry, uh, and then I'm going to add some description to it so so that anybody who is not aware of how to use this, they will be aware of how to use this particular workflow dispatch. So the branch to run the workflow. So you have to select the branch to run the workflow. Required, yes, I need, I need any branch that has to be there. Otherwise, I will not be able to run it. And the default one is main. So that's very common. So I'm going to use, and then the type is string yep i'm done with this part so let's um i'm going to save this i'm going to stage this change um adding workflow sorry adding workflow dispatch to the workflow and let's commit this change commit and push it let's wait uh, again it'll ask yep i think so let me go back Terminal, new terminal. Yep, I did a very major 
mistake here. So what did I do is, uh, let me copy this code. Let me copy this. Yep, this has to be the previous one. So git branch Simon main. So I have to create a branch. So git checkout minus b feature add workflow dispatch. I now created a branch. Let's wait for this. Yeah, now I'm on the branch now. So yeah, so let me close this one, go back to the file, cron job. Yep, I have the file now. Um, let me save this. And yep, let's publish this branch first. Let's publish this branch so that yeah, so we have uh, published the branch. So what we'll do is let's uh, let me go back to my yeah. So here I have my feature branch, and I go to my workflow, open my cron job. Yep. So here I can see we have got the workflow file. So the next thing we have to do is let's go to the actions. Yep. So this has already failed. Invalid workflow file. You have an error on line 28. What is that? That's something different. Adding workflow dispatch. Okay, this is the file. Let me open my. Yeah, it's cronjob.yaml. But here it's showing some other file. GitHub workflows scheduler. Dot GitHub workflows. Scheduler API test.yaml. I think something else is failing here. Uh, but fine. Uh, let's go to the pull request. Let me create a pull request. And yep, I think I'm good now. So let me create the pull request. Review required. Yep. Let me approve this pull request first. Yeah, going to the workflow. Pull request here. So I think it should be somewhere here in this one. Yeah, signing pull request. And the uh, file is changed. Yes, that's fine. Mm. Let me approve this one. What if it's changed? Review changes, approve. So this is how you have to approve the code in case you find it. Yeah, so merge pull request, everything looks fine. So I'm going to merge the pull request, confirm merge. So now the code is merged. So if I go to my main branch under the cron job, yep, I can see it here. So if I go to my actions, so yeah, here you can see uh, the file is running uh, in the main, right? So let's wait for it to get completed and then we'll do our next actions yep so we have we are seeing some failures and that is for okay initializing the back end okay finding latest version of do you intend to use okay what is this file actually terraform.yaml okay that's fine yeah but we can fix this later and for now our objective is go to the schedule get a workflow and here you can see we have so previously uh, so if i i can just open and show you so for the other one you don't see that run workflow on the right side top right but when i come to the schedule get a workflow you can see there is this run workflow here and then if I want to run my code from any of the branches. I can do it, but for now, I have my main branch. I'm going to use the main branch to run. So when I click run workflow, and when I click it again, you can see this particular workflow is running. It takes the Ubuntu latest one, and yeah, so this particular workflow is executed successfully. So this is how you have to use the workflow dispatch so this will help you to run your workflow so what did i do here so yeah like i told you 
you can run any of the code from any of the branches if i select this yeah so you can see it will select any of the branches so for now i'm going to just use my main branch so what did i do i just did a very simple thing i just added a workflow dispatch with the right indentation the inputs in the inputs i have the branch name yes it's required and the default is main and the type is string so by adding the workflow dispatch i can run my test manually right so with that i come to an end and i believe this video would be very useful to you so in case if you want any other trainings on github any devops related any platform engine related on azure please do reach out to me in my email id and yeah until i meet you in our next video it's bye bye from us and your favorite little slide youtube channel and take care and bye bye